This project I'm working on at the moment is set to a widescreen aspect ratio, which won't work particularly well on Instagram, but I want to post it on Instagram. So here's my project. As you can see, it's nice and widescreen. So all I'm going to do, open this folder, and I've got a 1080 square DRT. DRT stands for DaVinci Resolve Timeline File. And this is going to drag this into my media pool and release. We can close this down, and as you can see, we've got a square timeline that's ready to go. I'm going to hop back to my original timeline. I'm going to do a Control and A to highlight everything. Control and C to copy. We'll jump into my square timeline. Control and V to paste. And there you go. It's now on a square aspect ratio. I can mess around with the transform to make sure everything's in the right place. I can then deliver it and render it out in the right resolution for Instagram really quickly and really easily. So these are called timeline templates. They're really quick and easy to set up and they really can save you huge amounts of time. I've got one set up specifically for all these tutorials. It's got all of my levels done. It's got all of my audio effects. Everything is there ready to go. So then I just need to drop my footage on and I can start cutting it without having to mess around setting up the timeline settings to get me started. And you could set one up for vlogs. You could set one up for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, you can just set them up, drag them into your project and off you go. So here I am in a brand new blank DaVinci Resolve project, which is where I recommend that you start. Within the media pool, I'm just gonna right click, go to timelines and create a new timeline, or I could use the keyboard shortcut of Control and N. Give it a name, so depending on what you're trying to create. So I'm just gonna do a 1080 Insta once again and then untick this use project settings, and then you can customize everything within here to your needs. So I'm just gonna give myself a couple of video and audio tracks, just in case I need them. I'm gonna to go to format, and I'm gonna change the resolution. Have a look online. I've actually made a video in the past about Instagram resolutions, but have a look for the different resolutions you might need for different social medias and that sort of thing. For this one, I'm just gonna set it to be a 1080 by 1080 square resolution. Change the frame rate if you need to. You could even set up different templates for different frame rate projects if you wanted to. Have a mess with all these different settings to get them exactly as you want them. And then we're just gonna hit create. And that's gonna create this 1080 Insta timeline. I've got all my audio tracks and my video tracks. So what I would then do is just rename the tracks if I want to. So let's pretend I was doing my tutorial one. I've got this video one. I'm just gonna click it, it says video one. I'm gonna call this one A-roll. I then may call the second one B-roll. Same for the audio, just adjust those as you need to. You may have one for voiceover. You may have another one for music. I'm gonna use my mixer over on the right-hand side. You can open that just by clicking on mixer up here. I'm gonna bring that level down to something like minus 15. Just customize the levels as you want to. You could even open up your effects library, go to the audio effects, grab things that you may use often like the vocal channel or the noise reduction. So I'm going to grab noise reduction. I'm going to put it on my voiceover channel. I would then customize this as I usually would in every single project and that will automatically be applied to that track next time you open this timeline. Do all the things that you'd usually like to do. You can even import media or put this on my timeline on the b-roll. This could be your intro or outro, any music, any clips, anything at all, you can just drag onto this timeline so that it's ready for you next time. Just bear in mind that the media needs to be in the same location. So what I like to do is set up a folder on my PC called resources, where I put all my favorite music, intros, outros, all that sort of stuff, and they always remain in that same folder. I wouldn't recommend dragging things from your downloads folder, for example, because if you then remove them from your downloads folder, next time you open this timeline, it wouldn't work quite so well. If you really wanted to get fancy, you could even go to effects, adjustment clip, drag that on there. You could apply LUTs or any color grading that you usually do to that adjustment clip. So then anything you put on your A-roll will automatically have those color grades applied. Once you've done that, you've set up the timeline exactly as you want it. Go to your media pool and you should see your timeline in there. So I've got my 1080 Insta. I'm gonna right click, timelines, export, and then we want to go to the top one, the one that says DRT over on the right hand side. Give that a click and it's going to ask you where you want to save these. Again, it's worth saving in a location that's nice and easy, easy to remember, easy to go to so that you can just import these DaVinci Resolve timeline files whenever you want to. So I've called this one 1080 Insta. I'm going to put it in my Resolve folder and we'll just hit save. Now I'm just going to open up another new project. 
And then all we need to do, we can either right click within the media pool, go to timelines, import the DRT, and then find it. Or alternatively, if it's a little bit easier, it is for me, I like to just browse for the folder outside of DaVinci Resolve. So I've got them here. I'll just click and drag it into my media pool. And there we go. We've got this timeline. We've got all of our tracks ready to go. We've got this image, which is our intro. We've got our adjustment clip. And as you can see, all of my levels are done as well. Now I'm just going to import a second timeline. So I'm going to grab my tutorial timeline and just drag that in there as well. What I find really, really useful for this is underneath your preview window here, click on this icon, the timeline view options. And then the very top left, you've got this option here, which is to toggle stacked timelines. Give that a click. And then you get the timeline appear here above your actual timeline itself. So this one at the moment is showing my tutorial. If I click on this little plus to the right, I can then use the drop down to select my 1080 Insta, which has got everything on here. So then I can just hop to my tutorial one, for example, copy everything from here, just using the same shortcut, Control A and then Control C. Hop into my Insta one, Control V to paste that in there. And it's just a nice, easy way of hopping between the different timelines. And there you go. Hopefully you can see the benefit of these. Really useful, really quick and easy. And I highly recommend you give it a go. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.